What's up guys, Sparks back with another Goddess of Victory Nikkei video. I'm a bit late with this Nero review because I couldn't get her when I originally pulled for her, but I recently got her when I got some rainbow tickets. So, uh, we'll be going over her kit, how it works, especially skill 1 with healing effects, who good squad mates are, PvP, and PvE test. Okay, so Nero is a burst 2 fire type defender with an SMG. Skill 1 activates when recovery takes effect. Affects self and the target that applied the healing effect. Damage taken goes down for 5 seconds and stacks up to 5 times. Some of you might remember when I did my preview of her skill set, I said Rapunzel would be the best unit paired with her, and I was 100% correct. <laughs> Link to that video below. Uh, Rapunzel can get this ability to trigger nearly every single time she attacks. Now, theoretically, Nero could be good with any healer, but most, such as Summer Mary or Helm, will have a hard time getting this to stack more than once. Pepper, from my own personal testing, I've found can work decently, but still not as reliably as Rapunzel. Now, before I go on, I want to give a shout out to SkyJLV. He's a spreadsheet guy, he goes deep into the maths of character skills and things like that. He made a great video going into detail on why exactly each healer can or cannot trigger Nero's skill 1. Go check it out. But basically, max HP increase will not count as healing for Nero's skill to trigger, and continuous or healing over time effects will only trigger Nero's skill once. To be honest, this should have been pretty obvious. It says what the skill does right in the description. I think some people just aren't used to thinking about game rules in a very literal sense. Um, you know, it makes me think back to when I was a competitive Magic player, whenever we weren't sure what exactly a card did or how it worked, the response was always RTFC. Read the fucking card. <laughs> Usually the answers aren't hidden in games, unless it's just bugged, which is unfortunately a completely different issue Nikkei has often faced. But that's uh, a different video. Anyway, speaking of bugs, actually, some people said that Nero's skill might be bugged. That's also not true. Also, some people were saying that Mary would be very strong with Nero, and that's really not true either. Her skill 1 is a very powerful skill if paired with someone that can actually make stacks, and as of right now, that's really only Rapunzel. In the future, we might get more units that can also synergize. Okay, so skill 2 says that there is a 30% chance of activating when she takes damage and reduces damage taken by a small percentage for 5 seconds. And if she's under the burst effect, or the effect that she gets from her burst, there's a 30% chance for her to deal a large percentage of her final attack to the enemy. This skill is all pretty underwhelming, to be honest. Uh, what is more whelming is the last line that straight up gives her a 60% HP bonus at the start of the battle. This makes her HP pool extremely high and can usually keep her alive long enough to get all the stacks from her first skill. Her burst has a 20 second cooldown, love to see it. It can deal over 1000% of her final attack to the enemy uh, with the highest HP. She also taunts for 15 seconds and if Cat's repayment is fully stacked, she gets another 60% HP for 15 seconds. Combined with uh, cooldown reduction, this goes hard. There's very little downtime and combined with all her other buffs, she becomes extremely tanky. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the sub button. I'm only a light spender in this game, but any of the units that I do get, I do extensive testing with, and I think you'll find that it's very usable information for average players. Anyway, uh, for cubes, the only one that's really relevant for her is the Assault Cube, because SMGs have terrible garbage accuracy, but honestly, you probably can just go with whatever cube you have available to just give her some more stats. When it comes to overload effects, again, you don't really need to get too sweaty about it. There are far more important people for you to use your crystals on uh, re-rolling, but ideally you probably want hit rate, defense, and ammo capacity. But basically, as long as it's not a charge effect, just don't worry about it. Now let's talk squad mates. Rapunzel, as I mentioned before, is the most important unit to pair her with. Uh, this is the only way to make full use of her tankiness. Now, that also means you'll need another burst one because of Rapunzel's long cooldown, so your best bet is to go with Dorothy or Leader. Not only are they the best burst one units in the game in general, but having cooldown reduction is actually particularly important to keep the effects of her burst up at all time to keep that HP buff. So volume could be a decent stand-in as well. Unfortunately, I don't have Biscuit to test with, but I'm confident she could be a good squad mate in some situations, 
However, they are both burst 2, which then makes it awkward with Rapunzel. Probably the only time I would use them together against is maybe against the train or in PvP. Going back to healers, Emma can kinda maybe work with healing if you don't have Rapunzel, and Pepper's pretty decent as well. Beyond this, you probably just don't want to be running Nero. Nero has honestly really impressed me. Uh, she's proven to be an amazing tank in almost any PvE situation. I used her in Special Interception against Modernia, and the bombs were basically irrelevant. She was also very good against Blacksmith, and just tanked that all day long. Uh, she would get a little low sometimes, but it was never really a problem. Against Train, she couldn't quite make it. I tried a few different squads, but you're really better off just using Makima or Ludmilla with Sakura, I think. Now, keep in mind, I have zero investment in my Nero, so every test I've done is at skill levels 1 and no limit breaks or leveled up gear. She could probably, you know, get beefed up and be okay against Train. And <clears throat> the Train is the most brutal test, right? Even with zero invest investment, she has handled everything else. Material H isn't a problem, and I even use her in the challenge mode of Solo Raid. The laser that, uh, the shots that kind of happen at the beginning, those like three random laser shots that normally kill your units if you don't take cover, can just be straight up ignored. She tanks them like a boss. I can't stress just how much easier uh, that fight against Harvester is with Nero. Real quick, before we get to the end, I want to address PvP. I tried several different comps, but she turned out to be pretty mid. I'm not saying she's garbage because a taunter is always useful, but arena fights usually go by so fast that she doesn't have a chance to stack her buffs. Plus, her burst generation is terrible with those SMGs. Again, she can fill a role for you, but if you have someone like Makima, Noah, or Blanc, they're usually going to do a better job. I also assume she would be significantly better if paired with Biscuit in an arena situation. So, in conclusion, Nero is pretty good. Uh, remember to put her in position 1 to give her the highest frequency of getting healed and buff stacks, but that's uh, what you want to do pretty much with any tank anyway, because the first position is the highest chance of getting attacked, so that's nothing really new with Nero. Also, I'll add that just because she is highly dependent on being paired with Rapunzel, that does not make her bad. Nobody thinks Blanc is bad because you need to pair her with Noir. Not saying Nero is as good as Blanc, but you get the idea. So, let me know if you have any questions, or if you have anything else to add in the comments below. I love discussing things with you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.